Hello guys, we're with the Verge here at EFA 2012 in Berlin and we're taking a look at something pretty special. It is an iPhone 5 mock-up. Here we have an iPhone 4S for a size comparison. As you can see, this looks very much like all the leaks that have come out previously. You've got a two-tone two back cover here and flipping around to the front, you've got what looks to match the 4-inch leaks and uh, rumors that we have heard of the iPhone's display going vertically higher. So this is the original iPhone 4S and this is how big or how tall the new iPhone display would be. Assuming that this mock-up is actually legitimate, we have gotten a hold of this from one of the case manufacturers here at IFA in Berlin, which has chosen to remain nameless in order not to upset a certain company. Um, what we have been led to believe, however, is that case manufacturers are very confident about this new design and are starting to produce cases in volume in order to ship them next week, as soon as next week, to retailers. So here are the changes. Uh, the dock connector at the bottom has been shrunken, exactly as we've seen. Still got screws on the side of it. Right there, you have openings for speakers. Uh, on the original iPhone 4 and 4S, only one of the openings is a speaker, presumably the same with this new one. And you have the headphone port, which is usually on the top on the older design, but is now here at the bottom. Flipping this iPhone 5 mock up to the top, now you only really have a power slash lock button, nothing else on the top. Looking at the left side, nothing seems to have really changed. It doesn't have that colored label. We've seen some leaks that do have the colored label. And you might also notice that beyond the metal, um, the metal surround, there is still a little layer uh, for the display, which matches this one. But this is notably thinner than the iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S design. The home buttons look to be pretty much identical and they operated pretty much the same way. One of the notable omissions from this iPhone 5 mock-up is that you don't have the little dot for opening up what we presume is a micro SIM slot tray. And just to flip it around to the back, you still got the camera in the top left hand corner looking at the phone from this position with an LED flash near it. And you have a whole bunch of FCC and other iPhone labels at the bottom. Uh, notably, the iPhone font uh, doesn't seem to match Apple styling, but again, this is just a mock-up. And coming around to the front, perhaps the biggest change is the move of the front-facing camera from the side of the earpiece to the top. So that's really it. It really seems to look exactly as all the leaks have suggested that it would look. The iPhone 5, it is thinner, it is taller than the iPhone 4 and 4S and we'll really just have to wait and see how the software works how much of a difference that makes in day to day use so that's it a quick glimpse at an iphone 5 mock-up here at ifa 2012 in berlin